Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Amy if you're brand new here. Last year I did a video with my good friend Kat L and we shared our must-buy wishlist items for 2019. So six months has passed now, actually seven, almost seven months has passed now. Personally, I'm really happy as to the progress of how I've been fulfilling the initial list, but I feel like it's time to change it a bit, uh, especially because I feel like there are things that I, I will just drop off from my initial buy list and I'm going to add on new stuff that I feel like uh, I'm more attracted to at this point. As a recap, uh, last year I had at my number five item, I had the Celine Nano. Number four, I think I had my Lady Dior. Number three, I wanted a pair of designer shoes because I don't have one yet. And at number two, I just wanted to add more ready to wear items. And then of course my number one is the Coco Handle from Chanel, which I have achieved. So this is one of my latest addition to my collection. I will link the unboxing video as well as like just a bit of chit chat from what I thought about the collection. This is actually from the 19A Egyptian Mitida collection, the last one where Karl Lagerfeld um, walked out uh, at the end of the runway. So this was part of that collection. So finally added actually this is the third coco handle that i've added and it was not really anticipated i was not thinking of adding the three coco handle at the time but it just so happened that uh you know the colored ones were really nice and i had to add them and then i was like oh just wait for the black one it always comes back anyway and then of course this one happens to have the embossed handle which i love i love the contrast of the embossed burgundy handle with the black leather um so my number one item has been fulfilled a long time ago but especially with the black one it's officially over i, I think i'm done with coco handles i hope i think i've added two or three new self-portrait dresses since last year and then also uh i added a couple more blazers as well as a few more pieces like the skirt from balman uh, and also some t-shirts so i'm quite content in the ready to wear department of course i'm still you know, I still have my eye out. Uh, it really just depends on what I see and what I like. So I'm constantly going to be working on that. But I'm quite content as as far as ready to wear. You know, like if I see something I like, I will add it as well. I've just recently added these Manolo Blahniks in the uh, kitten heel. This is uh, this is the 50 millimeter, so it's five centimeter height. So it's it's almost a kitten heel, I guess. It's it's quite a nice height. It's a walkable height. So as part of my updated wish list, I've decided to drop the Celine Nano handbag. Nothing against the bag. I, I obviously still love it, but it's not so high in my list of things to add. Um, I've just filmed my mini bag collection and comparison. Uh, I don't know if this will go up first or the other one will go up first, but I feel like I have so many mini bags because the majority of it are mini, mini bags and I feel like the nano luggage is a great addition but it's it's not something that I feel like I absolutely need you know in terms of style and in terms of my desire to add it at this point so I'm gonna drop it from my list um, of course I also talked about how for the Lady Dior as well as the nano luggage if I could find it in the pre-love market then I would if, if I find it in the great condition and the color that I like and in the price range that I like, then I would take the plunge and do it. Uh, so it, it's kind of, you know, I'm going to drop it officially, but it's still at the back of my mind. If I find something that I feel like is worth it, is attractive, is a great price range, then I'm going to go for it. But officially, I'm dropping it from the list. So it's not a must buy anymore. With the Lady Dior... See, that's where I'm struggling a little bit because I do like the Lady Dior a lot. Uh, in fact, I like the mini size a little bit more just because I like the detail chain. Um, I like the size just looks a bit better, but I do find that the small size is a bit more functional. Um, and I think right now they have the new strap where you can have initials on it. It's a beautiful bag, but it's quite expensive. It doesn't keep its value, not that this is super important, but I just feel like you can also find it in the pre-love market 
if you find one in a good condition and the color that you like then it's so worth it to get it in the pre-love market so i'm officially also dropping it from my must buy list but i will also keep it at the back of my head if i see something on the pre-love market that i like and i feel like it's the right timing and the right combination then i'm gonna get it now having said that what am i gonna do in terms of my actual modify buying list for the rest of the year well i have news for you i actually do have a bag for sure that i want to get and it is also from christian dior it is their brand new mini book tote it's basically like a tiny tiny little book tote it's the size of all my mini bags it's, a, it's like a tablet size and um, it is part of the Cruise 2020 collection from the runway. Um, I have not seen it in person yet. I have seen a couple of Instagram posts. In terms of designer shoe, I know that I've just added my Manolos, but they are in the red color. I did get them on sale, so technically um, it's still fulfilling my wish list. but I feel like I still need a black pair because black is the ultimate neutral or gray. I don't mind the gray. Um, I don't think I'll go for nude, but if I find the right shade of nude, because nude is so tricky, if I find the right shade of nude, then I'll consider it as well. But I really just want to add a pair of black Manolos. And you might be wondering, why am I not adding other brands of designer shoes? That's because I haven't found one that is comfortable. I feel like Manolos are well designed for my feet. However, I'm still open to other brands as well. I just have to try them and, you know, really find out whether they are suitable for me. Aside from a pair of black heels, I would really, really love to add a designer slide. Again, I don't know which one because slides are such a tricky hmm, it's such a tricky item because they either rub or they have to be broken in or they're just not well made. They can crack and this and that. I just feel like it's such a for me it's such a risky business because I find shoes so uncomfortable. Most shoes are uncomfortable for me. I have problematic feet and joints. So that's the reason why it's extra difficult for me. But if I could, I guess, officially add a pair of black designer heels, possibly Manolos, and um, a pair of designer slides, that would be great because in the summer, I wear open toe shoes. I'm like, 99% on my Birkenstock or on my Columbia sandals even if I'm wearing a dress that's what I wear though those are the type of footwear that I go for and occasionally I will wear my heels if I have an event to go to but I'm usually bringing a pair of sandals just in case I get tired and I change into them so that's how my feet are and that's how sensitive they are I think that's a pretty good list to work on for the rest of the year I have a good five and a half months to work on the uh, adding the book tote and adding a pair of heels that I find comfortable um, really those are really the ultimate two things that I would love to add like as a must buy list because it's easy to have a wish list of like 10 items but it's not always realistic so I feel like these two items or these three items including the slides would be quite realistic for me of course if I don't end up with any of them it's okay too if I were to just be a little bit greedy and just add one more um it, it's so general that I think I'm just cheating at this point I feel like I'm still a big fan of Chanel. I, I, I have officially caught the Chanel bug so I'm always constantly um, not on the hunt but I'm, I'm constantly looking out at the next collection what's new and what I might like about the next collection so I guess there's the fall and then there's the uh, cruise collection coming up for the rest of the year so um, we shall see. We shall see what's out there. I have watched both runways fashion shows and there are a couple of things that I saw that I liked. Nothing in the handbag department, but um, 
that's just because they don't show everything on the runway. Although I'm super, super, like super content with my current Chanel collection. Like seriously, no complaints there. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of the right color, the right combination of material, the right design, the right size, the right shape, the right everything. So as a cheat, I guess I'm, I'm always open to add more Chanel. So that's pretty much it for this updated wishlist or must buy wishlist video i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know down below uh how's your wishlist going have you added what you wanted and have you changed it up a little bit and um yeah let me know what you think of the items that i want to add and uh or that i reduced let me know what you think about it and if you're new to my channel thanks so much for dropping by i would love to have you back please don't forget to subscribe like and comment hopefully you guys are having a great day ahead of you and i'll talk to you again very soon bye